This is an interesting experiment in which we finally get into the details of electricity. It takes quite a while to do this one, and there are a lot of little details to watch. So you may want to pause these instructions at various times in order to go back and make sure that you have this all done in the right order. Okay, electricity is so much fun, but the big difficulty, of course, is you can't see any currents. So you have to rely on instruments to help you out. Now, the electrical manufacturers do a nice job, too, because for the resistors that the current flows through, they give you a color code. And the good part to that is, if you know what the color code is, you can read it, no problem. But, of course, the bad part is, can you see the colors? But fortunately, we have help in the form of... Ha, here it is. It says this one is violet, green, and brown. So if we look this up, we found, find that violet, green, and brown together make 750 ohm resistor. So this should be a 750 ohm resistor. Now to find out if that is a 750 ohm resistor, we have to use the meter. And so the meter is one that you set up that has various possibilities for measurement, including ohms. So we're going to measure ohms to see if this thing really does have 750 ohms. So to do that, you attach one end of the meter to one end of the resistor, the other end of the meter to the other end of the resistor, and it says 737, 738. Pretty close. Not a bad start. So maybe this is a good resistor. We'll hang on to this and use it. Okay. Our friendly little resistor is sitting here now in a circuit board and what we're going to do with him is we're going to put some voltage across him and therefore some current's going to flow. Again, the big difficulty, you can't see any current flowing, you can't see any voltage across, etc. So we have to rely on our friend, the meter. So here's what we're going to do. Here's the battery. First thing I did was test the battery and make sure the battery's okay and the battery registered 9 volts and it's good. So now we're going to put the battery into place and the battery then is going to supply 9 volts to that resistor. So now there's 9 volts across that resistor and there's current flowing through it. Oh boy, can't see a darn thing. It looks just like a regular resistor. So what we have to do is rely on our meter. And we're going to set up this meter so that it is in parallel with the resistor. Because if it is, then what occurs is you have the same voltage across the meter as you do across the resistor. Let's see if that's true. DC voltage, it says here, 9.11. 9.11 volts. So that's the voltage across this resistor. Great. All right, here we go. We're going to torture this poor little resistor again. Only this time, instead of measuring the voltage like we just did a few moments ago, now we have it set up a little differently. We're going to measure the current. And to measure the current flowing through this resistor, we have the current, which is coming out of the battery, it's flowing through the meter, and then coming out the other side of the meter, and then flowing through the resistor, and then back to the battery. This is a series connection. And because it's series, what happens is the same current is flowing through every leg in this because there's no other place the current can flow. So we're going to test this out to see how well it works. And we'll measure the current now. And to measure the current, we have the DC amps. And we have, according to this, 12.4 milliamps. So now we have the current. There it is on your meter. Can you see that meter, Jesse? There it is on the meter. So now we've measured the voltage, the current, and the resistance all for this one nice little resistor. So this guy has done well for us. Thank you very much, Mr. Resistor. We'll see you again shortly.